Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a full face tutorial using Tarte's new Miracles of the Amazon collection. It's limited edition. If you're catching this on February 13th today, it is available only today on QVC. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier contour kit. It's a cream contour kit. I love cream contour. I'm just going to contour around the per perimeter of my face and just hide these blemishes. And I obsessively pluck my hairline and I'm just messing it up day by day and it looks like I have hair plugs. <laughs> so I'm just concealing all that. And then next I'm going to use the Maracuja Miracle Found Sealer. So it's a um, foundation and concealer in one. It's by Tarte. It has a little pump thing on the top and I love this foundation. This is the first time I used it and it is extremely hydrating. It's infused with Maracuja oil and it reminds me of um, Max Factor's Whipped Cream Foundation, which was discontinued at least five years ago. I would say longer, and it's the like that was my favorite foundation, and it li literally goes for like two hundred dollars on eBay. So I'm so happy that I finally found a dupe, and it's not just a dupe, but it's even better because I mean this is a high-end brand. Max Factor was more drugstore, I guess. So anyway. I have this Tarte Maracuja Lip Treatment also, I'm just applying it to my lips just so they exfoliate nice and pretty for later before I do my lip color. But anyway, for my under eye concealer, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills um, concealer in number three, and I'm just blending that with this brush. So please don't mind how bright this video is. So all of my screens were on like auto dim, and I didn't realize how bright it was, so I tried to darken it here in Final Cut Pro and put like a blue filter over it. I hope it's easier to see, so I super apologize for that. I'm not used to natural light while filming, but anyway, now I'm doing my brows with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony, and then I'm using Tarte's uh, Brow Gel right on top. I need to get a darker color. Mine's in taupe, which is way too light for me, but it's an amazing product. I love it, and now I'm going to set my under eyes with the best Sigma brush ever. I have it linked below and on the blog, and I'm setting it with my Ben Nye media pro banana powder it's like a pressed banana powder and a lot of people don't like it because it's not the same consistency and formula as the loose powder but that's a plus for me because i really don't like loose powder on my face so i love this pressed powder and it's huge and then i'm just going to contour my face with my awesome nars contour brush and i'm using the anastasia beverly hills contour kit And now I'm gonna take my second favorite Sigma brush and just grab a powder that is my skin color. I think I'm using L'Oreal True Match in N6 or N7, I'm not sure. And I'm just going to lightly set my face. And now I'm gonna grab the um, Tarte Miracles of the Amazon palette or whatever. And so first I'm gonna start with this brown color and just work it into my outer V and my crease using tape for my eye makeup is my jam now. Like if any of you have downturned eyes or super round eyes and you want to fake an almond shape or a cat shape, like oof. I wish I started doing tape like years ago. What is wrong with me? So, yep. So um, next I'm gonna take this taupey color and I'm just going to um, make that my transition color so it's not so harsh with that dark brown into my brow bone, if that makes any sense. Now I'm going to take um, the champagne -y color. Look how I don't know the colors, but there's only six colors. So I'm going to take that champagne -y color and just pat it right onto my lids. Then I'm going to take that matte pink color and apply it to my tear duct as well as my brow bone. Now I'm going to take this gold eyeliner pencil from LA Girl Cosmetics and I'm just going to line the very center of my waterline. And then I'm going to take a black pencil liner and line the outside and the inside making a little black and gold sandwich, if that makes sense. Next, I'm gonna take that purple color from the palette and just pack it right onto the outside and inside where I lined with black. And then I did my liner and my lashes off camera. And then now I'm gonna add on generous coats of mascara. This is the Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara by Tarte. This is just limited edition packaging. So I think you can find this 
outside of this QVC deal. Anyway, so I'm going to apply that to my top lashes, make them blend with my falsies, and then also my bottom lashes. And now on to my favorite step, cheeks. So my cheek highlight is actually a baked eyeshadow by Arissa Studios and it's called Meteor Shower. And I'm just gonna apply that to the tops of my cheekbones with that amazing Sigma brush I always talk about. I have one for setting my under eyes and I also have one for my cheek highlight. That way I don't mix my mattes and my shimmers. And yeah, it's just so gorgeous. And then for blush, I'm gonna be using the blush from that Tarte palette. I'm using my IT Cosmetics blush brush and I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And then our cheeks are done and our face, our face is pretty much done. So then we're just going to move on to lips. And so first I had lined my lips with like this dark brown liner because I love brown liners. But it ended up being too intense of a look than what I wanted. So I wiped it off and I just went with a gloss. And it's the, it's the one from the, the Tarte set. It's the Lip Surgeon's Liquid Lip Shine. And I'm really not a gloss girl, but I love this. It has like a really natural flushed kind of look it's very pretty and pink and you know you can dress it up or wear it really casually it's really pretty so that's the completed look i hope you guys loved this be sure to head to the blog i have lots of pictures of this look it photographed beautifully and i have you know full product list and all that so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you're not give me a thumbs up and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye